I was just watching uh, a lot of these, a lot of these stupid medical shows that I, I say I don't watch because I get the heebie-jeebies. You end up watching. Like sometimes he's switching by, and I watch. I watched this show with this woman that had a 200-pound tumor. She weighed 96 pounds, <laughs> I swear to you, after it was removed. She weighed 96 pounds. She was a 300-pound woman, basically? And then, she, it was I mean, 200 the pounds of tumor. And, then and then she, she was, like, emaciated when it was done, and they cut it out of her. And, and Where was it? It was all over her back oh. and then around her side to the front. Oh, okay. Imagine if it was just hanging from her ear. Oh, <laughs> a two hundred snip. <laughs> Done. A 200-pound tumor from your earlobe. It was so disgusting. Like, it was... How do you get it out? How, how do you not go to the doctor at that point? I know a lot of us don't really like going to the, yeah, but to the doctor's office, Jesus. but... When do you finally realize maybe I have a problem? And she had a husband and a kid and everything, so you'd think they would be like, hey. Hey, why don't you, you got a, get that tumor checked out? You got a 200-pound tumor, or at least, you know, 100-pound tumor when it gets to 100 pounds. But they show these doctors, like, I guess when you get these things, veins and arteries just start growing to feed it. And, and, and they're cutting it, and you're just seeing blood squirting up. And I'm like, why am I watching this? Yeah, why are you watching I that? don't know. It was horrible. That and then, of course, Hoarders is one of my favorites. Oh, my God, do I love the Hoarders shows. They were on last night. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just they're all from the same mold. Big fat people. They're just a lazy bums. <laughs> they can't fucking get the shit out of their house. Just collecting shit oh, that means nothing. It, it did nothing. And everything's important. And then the, the shrink's got to come over and coddle them. They gotta coddle them and go. Okay, we'll start with these pencils. The whole place is a fucking d disaster area, and they gotta start with these pencils. Yeah. Do you want to get rid of this? It really, I, it means a lot to me. My, my stress levels at a ten. Then just throw the pencils out right in front of the person. Yeah, just snap them and throw them yes. at their face. I think uh, the therapists have uh, uh, more problems than the hoarders. Oh, believe me. They're that all you're willing, a bunch of kooks. That you're willing to sit there and deal with that crap. You have to have a major problem. The friggin' uh, the, uh, the, the, the hoarder's family. Is yeah, that... that's her tumor. Look, you can't even see. What is it? That's her, her back. Tumor? Yeah, it's her back and her side. She's in a walker, so you can see her leg coming down. You think her, her entire back and side and front oh, wow. is covered with this tumor. You think Boomer. she had an achy back? <laughs> oh, her back was achy. Yeah. You know how bad she must have smelled? Uh, uh, it looks like a huge potato. Yeah, she does. She looks like a giant potato. <laughs> a giant potato. Oh, with some rotting eyes on it. That's disgusting. Oh, her pussy must stink. You know how bad tumor pussy smells? Oh! Jesus Christ. <laughs> but they were able to remove that whole thing. Yeah. So where's her skin now? Oh, they had to uh, make Breath? some new skin oh, from really? cadaver skin. Oh, really? They took cadaver skin and cut it into strips, and then they put these, like, perforations in it, Ugh. and then pull it over the her, her wounds, Ugh. and then her skin kind of grows through it. Right. Uh, but, um, you know, it just looks like she was beaten with a waffle iron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty yeah. gross. Did they show her face? Well, they show yeah, they showed her you uh, show your face. face. She was all... <laughs> no. <laughs> she, she looked... Uh, Thin as a pin. And then they showed her two years later or some shit, and she was big and fat. Like really? She, she even got big and fat. Ew. I know. Just well, uh, Maybe the stress of that's this whole thing. That's a Lori, Lori, made her eat. whatever it is. How do you sleep on a tumor? Lori, who? You don't think she slept on her back? Wind. No, you can't. A little feet would kick like a lamb. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, that's her. Yeah, that's her after she uh, had it removed. She's like, she's like 90 pounds. Damn. What, uh, what channel was this on for the peeps? Oh, this was one of those friggin' science channel things, which is just turning into the, the medical freak show channel. Who's that guy? Oh, her father. Okay, I hope she didn't have a husband. All of the... Uh, she does have a husband. Somebody yes. was fucking and her? And a kid. Yeah. Well, maybe not at that point. Maybe not with the tumor. How long did it take to grow? Maybe they were just comfortable with each other. It was like years. Years to grow. That's terrible. Yeah. And then... You uh, think it started... With a zit? Dude, it has to start small. No one wakes oh, up with a giant tumor. Like a mole that's looking a little funny. Oh, God. Well, she said after that, about uh, a few months after that, she had something growing on her. Really? I was all scared it was going to be that again. And what the was it, cancer? Just, nah, doc just lopped it off. Said, don't worry about don't it. Don't sweat it. What are you doing?
Uh, let me say hi to Tim in Maine. Tim, first call of the week. Make it good. <laughs> uh, why would he? <laughs> Starts out with a bang. Listening. He was listening to the show. Listen to himself. Why did he do There's that? no reason. For, none of them have anything to say. <laughs> Once in a while, they get lucky and it's good. But I make a motion that we fucking unplug the phones or change the you number. You can't do a talk show without phone calls. We talk to each other. It's okay. Let Danny no, go in there you, and call. You can't Sam, do call us from the next room. You truly can't do a talk show without fucking phone calls. Jesus uh, Christ, Tim. Uh, I know it's Monday and all, but come how about on. Troy Kwan from the other room, you're right. on the line. No wonder people pay people to have phony phone calls in. Oh. They feel like just phony phoners. Hey, you listen to any other talk show out there, you don't have half the shit we deal with. I know. What's wrong with these people? It's just amazing. Did they just start listening to us or something? I don't know. It's, it's, it's bizarre. It's you listen to your phone. When you call in... Listen to what's in your phone, not the radio. Right. There's a delay. Why would you use this? Yeah, why would you use the radio to decide when you need to talk when you have the phone up to your ear? I don't get ear. it. You hear, hi, you're on the air, and then, and then you go, Ugh. and you, you wait, you, you wait. You lean over to look at the radio. <sighs> Dopes. Yeah. It says, but Ant, how will they hear themselves? Exactly. The more important, the, the more important thing is that they hear themselves. Yeah, they they want to be convinced that they're on the radio or something. I don't know, whatever. We're on a delay for you dummies out there that still haven't figured this out. This show has to go into outer space and first. Then, and then comes back around. and Takes a while. Whatever. I think the lawyers get a shot at it, too. Yeah, it's going to run through their office. I think it something. goes up upstairs before it goes to the satellite, then back down, <laughs> to back to the lawyers to make sure they got it right, and then finally to your big rig. <laughs> Speaking of medical shit, did you hear about the, I'm not sure if it was a woman or a guy like it matters, thought that he or she had lung cancer, turned out to be a pea that was growing. Oh, God. Somehow, yeah, somehow they that. fucking inhaled a, a little pea and a little fucking little pea tree was fucking Ew. growing in their lungs. Like a little viney thing. Yeah, a little viney thing. That's Imagine thinking you got the lung cancer and that's a bad one. And then it turns out it's just a fucking pea wow. growing in your fucking lung. That was last week. Do we have that story? There it is. A pea plant. Bean sprout. Sprouts inside. Okay, it was a man. A man's lung. Uh, Guy had edamame growing in him. <laughs> pea plant inside a man's lung. A 75-year-old man. Oh, fuck. 75-year-old man from Massachusetts was rushed to a hospital with a collapsed lung and came home with a surprising and unusual diagnosis that a pea plant was growing in his lung. Ron Sveden had been suffering from emphysema for months when his uh, health condition deteriorated. He was bracing himself for a cancer diagnosis when x-rays revealed the growth of green vegetable in his lung. How does that happen? One of the first meals uh, Svendin had in the hospital after the surgery had peas for the vegetables. <laughs> he just laughed and laughed to himself and ate them. The patient said the plant was about half an inch in size. Story continues, but wow. you get the basics. How does it get the basics there? You inhale it by mistake. While nourishment you're it. to to grow. You know, doesn't yeah. need something that your lungs can't fucking or, give give the plant. I think your lungs are kind of moist, aren't they? Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah, yeah. cancer grows there fine. Miracle Dang. soil. I'm not breathing. Then they used to sell miracle <laughs> soil where you could like like oh, grow. miracle grow or oh, not even that. What was the one thing you could grow plants in like sponges and stuff? A hydroponic garden. I don't know. You didn't really need dirt, and you could get the plants growing. Just grow it in a lung. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Too much creepy medical shit going on. Oh, this guy wants to yell at you because out. the tumor story is old. Sorry that we brought it to your attention today. Uh, Rob, Garden City. No, I'm not, I'm not mad that it's old. I mean, if that's the first time he saw it, then that's the first time he saw it. Well, and saw it on TV. I saw a documentary on it uh, last night, my friend. Why Why the bitterness? No, I'm not upset. I'm just calling just to also tell you that uh, I don't know if they said it in the documentary or not, but they also found, like, uh, parts. They found uh, molars inside the tumor. They found wads of hair, fingernails. They, it grows, like, weird parts of your body. They can, like, replicate, you know, yeah. A strands or whatever. Yeah, that's weird. When you have some of these tumors, uh, your body gets really confused and just decides, oh, you must be fucking growing a person. So here's some hair, here's some teeth. You figure it out. Just mm. kind of throws it in the middle of the tumor. Yeah, I've heard that shit before. I think that was a different uh, tumor story, my friend. I don't know. A lot of these tumors, oh, really? I think, have that some of this shit no, in I'm it. Sorry. 
I was going to say the reason why she didn't leave her house for so long was because after she started having a massive tumor growing on her, started getting like um, agoraphobic and didn't want to leave the house. Like she became like couch ridden or bed ridden or whatever, and mm. then it just started like consuming her. Uh, the enabling uh, husband. Mm -hmm. My, my my favorite fat stories are the ones where the uh, the woman, it's usually a woman, gets so fat that she's stuck to the couch. That was the best one of yeah, the best ones. The fat just decides to attach itself to the couch. To the material. How do you not leave a couch for a year or two? She grew around her couch cushions like the trees grow around road yeah. signs. Yeah. Uh, Who's enabling that? Who's uh, feeding people that? People that just come by and shovel food into their mouths thinking they're doing the right thing. Who's wiping that? Same thing with the stupid hoarders. Same goddamn oh. thing. The, ena the enabling that goes on. It's okay. Yeah. And then there's the husband, miserable, stepping over shit, like trying to fucking find the microwave oven. It's under stuff. And, <laughs> and, and not just, b just belting her in the mouth. Uh, she can't help it, you know. She's yeah. sick, you know. Who's the bigger problem? She is. She or he? She, she is. She but, is. But, but, but every guy in that situation is a pussy whipped asshole to not just say, get the fuck out of here. While she's sleeping, throw everything out the windows. I think there'd be Just, hell. I throw shit out the windows and let her lose her fucking mind. And in the end, what will really happen? She'll lose her mind for a little bit, and then what? Yeah. She'll just go back to collecting garbage again. And then she just keeps coming back from the thrift store. Which she shit? kept going to the thrift store and buying just garbage. Garbage. Mm. I can't take the, the the fucking hoarders. Here's a guy that had one of those giant tumors removed, Anthony. Oh, God. Bob, Long Island. Hey, guys. How are we doing this morning? Pretty good. good it's morning. Monday, you know. I know. I know. Listen, I had a 179-pound tumor removed from me. I know what it's like. The exact medical term, though, is called a wipe. But uh, I tell you, it's great. I got rid of it. Wow, what an experience. I'm really feeling better. Well, dude, were you, were you close to death? What, what, I, could, I could hear half of what you said. Oh, I said the 179-pound uh, tumor. That was I bad. heard you! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! I knew that was coming. Of course I did. Oh, it was perfect. There's nothing, of course. He was so eager to tell you again because it was so funny the first time. <laughs> Holy shit. Here, yeah, my wife, huh? Let me tell you. A tumor. She's taken her on vacation somewhere. She's never been like the kitchen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that old gag. Uh, Let's say hi to John in Ohio. John. Hey there, Jen. Hey, good morning, fellas. How are you? Good, man. Good. Hey, I was going to tell you about, uh, you know, when people get tumors, you know, like you were saying, uh, it develops its own blood supply. And uh, then uh, it just sucks all the nutrients out of your body, so you get really emaciated or skinny. Yeah. So then I... what happens is you get you get it taken off, and uh, you're used to eating a certain way. Then all of a sudden you're getting the nutrients back, so you get fat again. Really? How yeah. about that? Are you yeah. a nurse or something? Yeah. Hey, what yeah, are you? Yeah. yeah, I'm a nurse. All right, faggot. Why aren't you a doctor? <laughs> uh, well, I thought about it. You know, I took me women are nurses, yeah. guys yeah. are doctors. What are you doing? <laughs> you're you're fru you're fruity. Uh, no, I'm not. Do you wear little nurse shoes? Yeah. <laughs> and then and the nurse bonnet. Do you wear the hat with the red cross on it and give enemas? <laughs> Black stripes. <laughs> Are you the angel of death? At least do you yeah. smother some bitches every once in a while. There's some people you'd like to be. Yeah, no you know? kidding, right? So anyway, but you know that look this up on Google that uh, tumors that have teeth and hair are called a teratoma. Teratoma. And, uh, yeah, look up the images of that, man. It's freakier and healthier. Oh, they have, like, eyes in them, right, and hair growing in them? Those Mostly teratomas? hair and teeth. Some, some, yeah, some of them uh, have eyes. A lot of oh, them they do? Some have eyes? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, God, look at this. they got a little arm on it. Teratoma. Wow, that's pretty cool, man. It's, uh, it's been, uh, they checked the chromosome studies on them. They have, like, a XX and Y chromosome or some kind of shit like that. Yeah. It's really, really fucked up. Yeah, so, we're uh, Google imaging that. Pretty cool. Oh, God damn it. That is so fucking disgusting. Is that molars? <laughs> uh, we just found one with molars. It's got good teeth. Nice smile. Yeah, it is. Like quado. <laughs> you like a tumor to have a nice smile. <laughs> tumor. <laughs> Show me another good one, man. Well, what's uh, that butt oh. all about? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, my God. What the fuck? Where's the ass? Ew. This woman who has a tattoo where her ass should be, but there's no split where her ass is. What is she going to do? To I mean, I'm, a tumor. <laughs> a tattoo. I'm tired. Oh, she's got a tramp bump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but her ass crack is gone. Yeah. 
That's There's nothing off. there. Wait, it just fucking grow across the whole ass. Maybe that's not a tumor. Maybe that's all the duty building up. <laughs> <laughs> She's duty building. Uh, what is that on vagina? Tumor? What's on the vagina? Is, uh, Ew, there's something going on that? down there. Like it's got teeth or something. That? Ew, a pussy has a teeth. What the fuck is that, man? That's wild. I have to, I'll, be, I'll come in for sex in a second. I'm going to go brush my pussy. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go floss her vag. <laughs> Yeah, long-time listener, your mics sound like shit today. I'm telling you, these mics really sound bad. Oh, yeah? I don't know what changed over the weekend. I'm used to it now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm used to it as, as well, but... You know, what? I understand how someone could be a hoarder. Like, I, yeah. I, I was cleaning up my... Because Keith was over here, and Angie, you're going to do some stuff at like, my apartment. And they looked at my closet, and Keith laughed and took a picture at, like, what an ass I am for saving. Like, <gasps> no! All, I have all these cords. But I'm like, fuck it, he's right, I'm wasting a lot of space. And I realize how hard it is to throw shit out, man. It's like you, you just want to say, like, I, I might, I might, you never get, I had four empty fucking iPhone boxes. Why were you hoarding those? And an excellent question I said to myself, I, and I threw them out. Like, what are you doing? An old Blackberry box. I'm like, you're never going to use this. Yeah. What why, are you did, gonna, why did you have them? Dude, I don't know. You put them away in case, like, you got to take it back, you get a box, like, for the first couple weeks. Right. But then I'm like, what am I doing? Then after a while, I, yeah, it's like, what the fuck? I, I'm the other way. I throw, like, when I get a new phone, I throw half the shit away. Oh, you know, the, the, the cords that don't look <laughs> yes, like you need them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, so I'm like, oh, fuck, I need that cord. Uh, no joke. I, I really do that. <laughs> you better off being that way. I, uh, yeah. Well, I, it comes from moving a lot. You never moved a lot, right? No, we moved maybe once in my life. See, when you move a lot, you have no choice because you're too poor to fucking haul all your shit from one city to the other. You have, you have to throw stuff away. You have to make some split-second decisions on the front lawn <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> as you're loading a U-Haul. Yeah, I guess you don't get as attached to the stuff. No. You get attached to the stuff, actually? Uh, but it's not like a conscious right. attachment, but you're like, it's just there. It's like, eh. What else did you find yesterday that you realized you were saving? It literally no just towels and, towels I never used I threw out. Like, it was my books and stuff, and if the guys want, like, colognes, like, 20 different bottles of cologne, they're good colognes, but I don't wear them. I'm like, you haven't worn this in a fucking year. Get, give it to somebody. Wow, you're, but you're borderline hoarder. But I'm not. Like, I just... You don't realize it. It's like, I'm not that attached to them. You got a lot of stuff in your apartment, Jimmy. Yeah, that's why I'm throwing stuff out and just a lot make, of stuff. And, and putting mm -hmm. stuff in the closets. I'm just... His yeah. apartment's a bit crowded. It, a bit, but it's not that bad. Um, it's better now. Like, I spent... I spent... My girlfriend had a big fight the other night, so I fucking... I, I worked till Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. You do realize you say that a lot, right? Oh, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just... Uh, yeah. I want to make sure it wasn't some kind oh, yeah, of deja no. vu that I'm going through No, here. no, no. Okay. So until 10 o'clock Sunday morning, I was just cleaning out my closet. Like Eminem was inspiring me. Yeah, <laughs> cleaning out your closet. And I went to bed. I slept till 9 o'clock last night. I just slept all day. I like, find myself in mine a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of hay for me to sleep. <laughs> what was the fight about? Uh, it's just a build-up. You know how it is. It's just one of those but things. But it can't be a build-up if you're fighting a has lot. to... Yeah, man. It's the old steam purge. Yeah, they're never about anything uh, important. <laughs> honestly, no. No. Um, she. I got a text, and uh, she was. Uh, I'm driving with one hand, and I'm trying to call my garage. Um, to to open the door because it's two o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and they won't open the door unless you call or ring the bell. So I'm mm -hmm. calling, and a text came through, and so I'm like, you know, you drive with one hand, and I'm swiping it. And the text popped up, and I swipe back the other way. And I'm annoyed because I'm trying to get to my phone. And she thought I was trying to hide the text. Oh, shit. And she's like, well, who's texting at 2.30? And she kind of accused-asked me, and it just annoyed me uh. that she accused-asked me. Um, and so I was like, what are you asking me for that? Like, why? Like, I don't ask you who's texting you. Like, and it, normally, it wouldn't have cared that much. Yeah. But she says, like, 2.30 in the morning. It's like, it's a Friday night, first of all. I'm a I, comic. I'm up. <laughs> yeah. And everybody I know is fucking... Uh, from uh, Entertainers from the West Coast. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. And it was a friend. But it, it wasn't anything inappropriate. But it just annoyed me that she asked. And then uh, it became this thing where I was, fuck you, I'm not telling you. Mind your business. Like, it was just so annoying. How, how many uh, hours was the fight? Uh, I haven't talked to her. She wound up leaving the, uh, that night. Wow. She came back the next day, Saturday, and we were talking. We just started arguing more. And I probably would have told her if she just wasn't like continuing with it. Um, but the fight just kept going, and so like you know, so she left. Accusatory. Yeah, it's really weird, man. Those text things. And I could say it now, wow. but if she hears this, I don't want her to have the satisfaction of knowing who it was. <laughs> <laughs> Person knows who they are. <laughs>
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but wow. It was, but it was almost like if, if, if she had asked me, like, said, hey, what is, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Yeah. It really would not have been, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's like just the accusing shit kind of annoyed me. Like, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah. What do you want? It happens a lot with people, the couples and texts. Always looking over, kind of, what, what's going on? With, who, who is that? Who cares? It's a privacy. It's really weird with me. It's like, literally, it's not like, oh, God, don't. But I don't want to see who's texting her either. And it's not even, it's like, I want to, but it's like, once you get into that, you're in this, you're in a possessive, yeah. obsessive thing. And that's really a fucking unhealthy place to be. Yeah. Who was that? What'd they want? Well, yeah. Got to have a little trust, right, Jimmy? Dude, I've been so untrustworthy in a lot of relationships, so I'm not saying that my girlfriend's crazy to suspect, but she didn't just say, look, I know it's kind of, can I just ask you who it was? I'm just bugging me. It, it, that makes a huge difference between that and fucking, uh, you know, what are yeah. you trying to hide? Like, you know what I mean? It's like then all of a sudden you're on the defensive. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. So hey, someone texts, you're all of a sudden on the defensive. It's like, what huh? you, what you, it's like I'm a comic. I'm not a fucking, I'm like, I'm like you, you act like 2.30 in the morning, you act like I'm a lawyer. It's Tuesday night. It's like it's a Friday night. I'm a comedian. My friend's up on the 11, 11.30 in the West Coast. I got a text from David Tell last night, which this is not the one we were fighting about. Uh, Attell was texting me at fucking uh, 2.27 a.m. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's like, hey, sorry. You have to, I know you have to get up. But it's like the comics I know are all awake. I got the picture of his cock. I, it was nice. He said <laughs> it. He's a good boy. I know. I um, um, have a couple of uh, texts um, that were very late. <laughs> to James. <laughs> Happens. Happens. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's like if someone asks you something, it's so much it's less the way they ask. angering. Yeah, man. Because then all Sometimes of a sudden. it's just the way they ask. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, and it's almost like then you, then you get mad at me and say, well, oh, what, what? You got to prove something now? But it's like, in a way, yeah. It's like, I'm not, I'm, we're not a married couple for 20 years. I don't mm -hmm. want to behave like that. And it's like, I don't know. Yeah, just, that's it. You don't want to start falling into that. So it's been a couple well, days. We talked uh, yesterday morning, but it was a big argument, man. And it's like, we'll see what happens. Wow. I don't even know what's going to happen, but whatever. I mean, That's big? We'll... Like, yeah. Ooh. Oh, no boy. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, yeah. That life. happens. You know, it happens. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we, we were okay without each other before. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what I want to happen, honestly. I don't think she does either. It's okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Ah, uh, come on! Work it out. Oh, come on, guys! <laughs> but anyway, I brought it. That motivated me to clean up my closet. Well, let's see the shit you brought in, man. You, well, you kind of got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it was. Good. I know I bring in shit for the guys. Drug well. car. I, well, who wears? Do any of the guys wear cologne? I don't even know if these guys wear. Cologne. I wear a cologne. Let me see what you got, Jimmy. All right. Cologne. What? Couple, most of them have the boxes. They're on. classy. I don't think the younger guys wear cologne, do they? I don't know. I have a couple. Seriously, I want to know the answer to that. Do younger guys wear cologne? Uh, some like when do. we were growing up, man, cologne was kind of important. I don't, I don't know if it's as important nowadays. This one is not a great one. It's called Riverside Drive. No, it isn't. <laughs> it is. I don't think that's a great one. Wait, let, throw it over here. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. You got the, can you hand it over there? Who cares if it breaks? No, you don't want to break that. I don't know if it's not in here. Oh, and it's got a little NYC logo on there, and yeah, Look someone got that. me that. I thought it was a cool. I, I only have a couple. These are, these are ones that don't have any. Put it on paper, Jimmy. This is what they do at Macy's. Oh, I know. Oh. Wait. I have a couple that are loose. I'll, uh, start, I'll start getting fucking nauseous if there's too much uh, smell in here. I don't know. It smells like oh. a cheap version of Abercrombie and Fitch. I have that, too. I don't know. You know what, you know what we should do? What? Take all your colognes and take, like, um, E-Rock. Can we spray someone really bad and make them walk around the rest of the day like, with their, no, their shitty they'll, cologne? They'll think every time they come in here. It's expensive. A lot of it is expensive yeah. cologne, though. These are all, none of these are terrible colognes. This is not bad, actually. I, I might take this one. Okay, keep it. No, no I'm not I, taking your cologne. That was a joke. I can afford you have my own cologne. No, but it's not, dude. Give it to the guys, maybe. This is literally, this is literally 80% full. And it smells good. And it's not that this is bad cologne. I just, I have like these ruts I get into. I have like 40 colognes. And I brought in like 20 that I haven't used. These are not shit colognes. This one is, uh, here, here's a good one. Dude. Fucking, uh, Gucci. It's an Gucci. Un unused Gucci cologne. Can I? Here's, here's what we do. Look, wait, let me try that Take one Take the fucking things, go into the bathroom with E-Rock, set them up on the counter with some paper towels and a little basket, <laughs> and see how much <laughs> fucking money he makes. See how much fucking money he makes. <laughs> Extorting money out of the fucking serious staff. How great would that be? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. 
Uh, would be good if Black Earl was still here to do Dude, that's, it. That's funny. <laughs> Let me smell the other ones. Um, oh, God damn. Here's uh, that one is a good one. Now, this one is pretty good. It's called uh, Rojas. Rojas? Rojas. Oh, that sounds manly. <laughs> Whoa, it's shaped like a butt plug. Yeah, pass that to. Oh, that's not bad either, man. That's actually. A, a How the fuck you put that one on your counter? Oh, no, you oh, had this, dude. It, it, it looks oh. like a cone upside down. It looks like a little cone upside down. It does look. Um, and it goes into something. It looks like a carrot. Yeah, <laughs> your ass. Like Danny's right. You could so shove that up your ass. Oh, please, could. <laughs> <laughs> smell the bottom. <laughs> this one's horseshit. It's not. No, it's not. Like you, you, you smell. Smell it on the actual on the paper. It's not good, but I've, I've worn it. It's good. Oops. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No. And who likes Curve Cologne? I started my own bit today. Oops. No. Anybody like Curve? Oops. Curve is good shit. Well, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. I don't... Um... Curve is good shit. I'm serious. I know it is. I, I just to... don't wear it. It's almost a, a full bottle of Curve. Someone should grab that. I used to wear Curve. That, great stuff. That's Where did you stuff. get all this? I buy it when I'm on the road. A lot of times I'm on the road. Oh. It's like a compulsive thing. It's like I'll be in a store and I'll see a... Col I mean, I have like... Right. Antic. Give me that. I have like Give them the butt plugged back. I have like uh, a bunch that are you buy them like oh that smells really good. I'll buy one or two when I'm out. It's like a little stupid thing I like to do, but then you don't realize that when you're home, you get caught up wearing one or two really good ones. And there's probably like four that I wear in rotation. So I kept like twenty that I really like. Um, but I like this and Curve is good. There's curve a lot of great really, ones. I just don't wear them. Curve's a good one. There. They're all good. Yeah. These are ones I haven't worn in a year, the ones I'm bringing in. But I thought the guys might want some, because fucking, if they wear cologne, if the chicks like them in cologne. Sure. You got so, any high karate? No, I don't wear that fucking, uh... I want high karate. I don't wear that, uh, that shitty stuff. Oh. <laughs> I get you, yeah. Uh, <laughs> ah! Ah! What? what happened? Get me something! What, you want, you want a cock? Ah! <laughs> what happened? Someone fucking chews on the pen. Oh my god, I'm so fucking grossed out. And what right, happened? I gotta, I gotta explain. It's my love, properly. what did you do? So someone chews on this pen, right? Yeah. Now I know when you're sharing pens around the workplace, you're gonna get a pen that's chewed on, but usually you can work around it. So, I, so I'm listening to Jimmy. So I, I decide to like <gasps> go like this. What? What? I'm, I'm unscrewing the unscrewing pen. Unscrewing the yeah. pen. Just a nervous little thing I was just doing, right? Yeah. And someone's fucking saliva pours out of this oh, fucking thing. Oh, fucking A. Who wants Come to on. smell my thumb right no, now? get the fuck out who of here. Who wants to smell my thumb? Spell his thumb. Smell his thumb. Oh, my God. Oh. Get me something. Do you smell breath on it? Oh, it's horrendous. Oh, my God. Here you who go. Who does you that? Smell no, 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 no. Get it away. Get it away. Get it away. Dude, I, I, I'm sitting there listening to Jimmy talk about the cologne. I'm listening to you talk about the clone, and I just kind of unscrew the fucking pen up. You know, I'm just sitting here enjoying the conversation. And also, I'm like, why is my thumb getting really moist right now? Oh. Fucking oh. saliva just pouring out of this goddamn pen. So someone's chewing on a pen, and oh it's just God, dripping so into the pen? You su it smells like... Who's fucking pen? Who's, whose pen is that? Who chews on the pen? Who the... I'm, I don't I don't chew on pens. Who chews on the pens? I do a lot of weird oh, shit. Oh, you already cleaned it. Pens. I do a lot of weird shit, but I don't chew on fucking pens. What happened? What? The Purell machine's right there. No, oh, I got you just my got own. Some. I yeah, I got some, and I'm fucking... God damn. Sorry, Jimmy. I didn't mean to, like, take away from what you're Dude, doing Dude, please. Here, that's my... Also, I'm sitting... I smelled spit on my thumb. I'd do the same thing. But I'm sitting there like, why is my fucking <laughs> thumb getting moist as I hold this pen? All right. Oh, I still got to go fucking clean my hands, but whatever. Why don't you oh. spray some cologne on them? That'll smell better. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, my Plenty God. It's still on my fucking thumb. Anyway. Wow, what else besides... really rude. What is that? It's like a snow globe. This is really good. I think that had smells... They're very unique um, packaging there, uh, Jimmy. I think <laughs> this is good. Uh, could you give this to Gregorio? I don't know what that's called. I don't even know how to open that. Yeah, I do. I it does look like a it. snow globe. It is a snow globe. By the way, this is the Abercrombie cologne you mentioned. Oh, Ooh, what do you rub it on your abs? Oh, it smells <laughs> good. Dude, this doesn't smell like anything. I think sometimes they lose potency. Spray it on the pens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one you could throw away, I think. I, I don't think it smells like it. Oh, Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. It's gone bad. I don't no, know. it's. It doesn't smell like anything. All the cologne we're spraying in here, though, who knows at this point? Yeah, I can smell it. It's good. Yeah. And uh, Abercrombie. Abercrombie's good. Abercrombie. Did you even use that? Oh, yeah, I've used all of them. On, you know, I put that on the road. 
The, uh, the Curve and the Abercrombie, some of these young gunslingers should bring that home with them. Uh, Fahrenheit, a brand one, which uh, Erock's dad gave me, which is nice, but I just From don't wear Dior. it. From Dior? Yeah, I don't wear it. Um, Lacoste, a Lacoste one, which is kind of a cheaper one. Mm. Is it? Yeah. I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm not a cologne guy. I'm a, uh, you know, I have a little speed stick. <laughs> Little speed stick. You don't cologne up for the big dates. Nah, you know I use my uh, my uh, caress soap. You never in take the a shower and then uh, and then a little uh, little speed stick under the uh, arms. Oh, yeah. and you never maybe take a little a, hair gel. You never take a Puerto Rican shower. Oh sorry, no. <laughs> sorry Mars. Oh shit, oh, Mars. I'm Mars sorry. just calls it a shower. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, hair mace. Oh, you got mace? Her hair mace. Oh. Hermes. Half the shit you could use for, as mace. Oh, you got a fuckload of yeah. cologne in that bag. We're discovering that you really are a hoarder. I think you're a hoarder. I got a, a Polo bit. Sport and uh, Aqua de Giorgio by Armani. You They're got all good. Aqua That's Velva. Really good. That's really good. <laughs> no, it's yours. Here you go, sweetie. Brand new. It's not used. There's nothing wrong with it. Why would you give it to him before me? Um, I'm kidding. Because please. he walks in and out wearing whatever cologne he is. It's cum. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -oh. uh, Kenneth Cole is good. Whatever. I fucking do Kenneth Cole. I'll pass that do to my do, love. Do you do the black? I, I think that's black. Kenneth Cole black? I have no idea. I kind of know a little too much about this shit, I guess. This, dude, this one's leaking, though. Oh, it's not. Oh, shit. I'm just trying to get it out. It's no, out. it's going all over everywhere. And, uh... Don't want to get my sandwich. Some more Lacoste? Lacoste. This is okay. This is not... You got any Stetson? Uh, <laughs> some recommendations here. Stetson, Jim. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Danny, if you want one, you can take one. You're not a cologne guy? I'm smelling. Huh? You don't, you don't do cologne, Danny? I, I haven't in a long time. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'll I mean, throw them out if nobody wants one. I don't care. And, uh, and Boss. A little bit of Boss. Oh, Voss. <laughs> boss. That comes in a ball. Yes. It's unique. Marge, which one are you picking? I want to know what uh, the Latinos do. How much money days? would you say you went through in cologne? Uh, this is probably a uh, thousand dollars. Thousand dollars worth, yeah. Holy mother Look of how many Jesus! Got. That's got to be at least a thousand. Yeah, amazing. But I don't buy them at once like a site. Look at this stuff. This I know is good the, stuff. The, fucking Mark like, Jacobs. Ants the, onto some. We should get all this in the bathroom full. today. Yeah, they should. It should all be set up in the or, bathroom. Or you could sell them on the street right now. And just fucking. Uh, with all the fucking zeros walking around. That's very walking around this time of the day. Would buy them. No one's gonna buy fucking. A cologne. How much you want to bet? Get me an intern with a big think fucking think sign that says uh, used colognes for sale. Ten dollars. How much? Ten dollars per. I, I bet you you sell some right polo now on the black. street. There's the polo black. Uh, black. Black. Is there an Armani black. thing here. Number one. No. I bought this song, Alfred Sung. It's a woman's perfume. But you know who wears this and smells good is Dennis from the Bunny Ranch. Always smells good. I'm like, what is that you're wearing? And he goes, it's fucking. It's sung. But it's for women, and he wears it because women like it. And yeah, it's like, he probably he's, dude, he smells on him when he's banging all the fucking yeah, no that come He in. smells really good. That, me, that is not smells great. Let me smell. This is just a cologne smorgasbord. Yeah, I, I, that doesn't oh, smell yeah, as good. Kind of, it's a little chicky. Yeah, I just rubbed it on chicky. myself. Oh, I don't oh know. wow, okay, I that don't was know, dude. that might I, be I worn just out got too. Nailed with some like. Major dude. fucking cologne. It smells very good on Huff. But this is this is a chick's cologne. It's perfume. It's the only one I have that's well, perfume, perfume whatever. but he wears it just because girls like it. And I think that's Damn. all I got. I got one more. I like electric shave. Cartier. Cartier? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's good stuff, too. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it. Real good stuff. You just the, broke the top. <laughs> the little <laughs> atomizer came off in go. Jimmy's little hand. I didn't know what happened, Anthony. <laughs> I know. You got scared. Oh, this is what I should keep this one. Wait, someone's saying you are displaying signs of a suicide victim. What does that mean? First of all, why? Because I'm going to go kill a Craigslist hooker? <laughs> yeah, that guy killed himself in jail over the weekend, huh? <laughs> why do you say that? Who said that? The Craigslist uh, 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 hooker guy, yeah, he killed himself. Who said I'm showing signs jail of a suicide Boston. person? Yeah, over the weekend, but mean? we got Richard in St. Louis. Richard! Hey, Obi, yeah, I'm starting to worry about Jimmy. He's, uh, he's just now getting out of a relationship, and he's starting to give away all of his possessions. Those are two classic signs. Oh, I think he's <laughs> okay. getting out of a relationship. <laughs> I don't know if we're going they to They had a that. tip. He's going with basic signs. Yeah. I, I got you now. That's all right. silly. But who wants my sign Sabbath Very stuff? Very good. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, you no, come you with that shit, then I would believe. No, dude, I actually kept about 20 of these. This is excessive. And the fact that I have so many... 
He's listening to himself. Oh my We're God. trying to continue to talk Just to hang you. Up on nah, fuck him. What is stuff. wrong with people? The um, Cartier I may keep. Actually, this one I like. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Um, <laughs> Looks like a hoarder. I, I, I yeah, yeah, but I'm giving away one. all of them. I don't, I don't. No, you're itching. You're gonna, you're gonna take half of them back now. Dude, they're all pretty good. <laughs> they're all good except the ones I kept at home are the ones I wear. Fucking. Tom. I would take. Uh, I would take the uh, the Kenneth Cole. I would take the oh, Curve is. I haven't done Curve in years. It's, dude, it's a full bottle of Curve. I Curve. I want to remember what it smells like. Yeah, this is in a, in a. And then the Abercrombie, even though it's for. Uh, and you I ever got smell Curve in? Okay. Anything else? My, uh -oh. I have sensory overload in my olfactory. It really does smell like a Macy's. In you know what you need, yeah. though, bro? You need what fucking. What do you mean, uh, Dan? You need. Uh, <clears throat> no, you need to, uh, to to smell coffee beans now. In between it, to to. Uh, well they won't smell good on the napkin. They'll smell all right. Oh though. wow. They're too strong. I don't know. It's, it's, it's so I much I don't know floating if I, in the air. It's gone. It's yeah, a it's lost cause. I don't know if I like Curve anymore. It is a lost it's cause. Oh, you want this thing? Yeah, yeah. Put that on. I always keep <laughs> the bottle. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah, yeah. Put it on. No, thought, that's the little thing that keeps it from spraying in the thing. But I thought you were done with it. I am. I'm going to give it away, but I don't want to give it away and have it spray on somebody. These things, I travel with them, so... <sighs> I guarantee I'm you could sell these on this, this now on the street in I, Times Square right now. I keep the boxes because I travel with them, so you can't travel with a loose cologne in your fucking suitcase. It'll spill. You put yeah. it in the box and you See? wrap a sock around it. This way it doesn't spill all over your Remember luggage. Remember we were talking? Ooh, I throw smart. all that shit away. No, I never do because I've learned the hard I have way. To. I travel with things carefully. I don't want to open up my underwear. And you have... know what? Put all your colognes back in a box. I'm You're going to need smell these. smell like cologne now. No, I'll never need them. Dude, I got nice. too many. Like a I got a whole shelf of them. What is this guy doing? We got a sign. What do you want it to say exactly? Um, I would, where are we going to do it? You want to do it outside? Just do it outside real fast. Before real the colognes. Real, before the real people are walking around Manhattan. Yeah. There are people that would love a bargain right now. Real Just colognes. use colognes, $10 a bottle. These are real colognes. Yes, these are real. No, they could smell them even. Yeah. There's no way anyone's going to buy this. I guarantee someone's going to buy it. But they're going to think it's like fucking just water or piss. It's or really something. not. No, they could smell it. They could spray and smell. Yeah. And I have a little speaker system here. I don't know if anybody wants it. It's not that great. It's an MP3. It's the Sentry speaker system. <laughs> yeah. Have you see that? Your so I can describe it better. Uh, what did you put your iPhone or? Yeah. I probably got that as a gift, on, like at a festival, or I bought it. I bought, I bought a lot of speakers for the road. Like, All right, let me my... describe this for everybody. Oh, no. No, don't break it. I want to give no, it away. No, it's in the garbage. <laughs> see, he's a hoarder. He's but I want to give it to people. It's All right, a... here, here. here here's... Don't break this. No. <laughs> here's your speaker system, you fucking... That's wonderful. If he, if he, if the, I don't know. Wait. It's not broken. Okay. I, I don't know if it's any good or not, but uh, nobody needs this stuff. You, it was can... a soft landing in the garbage. It's I have one in my bedroom, but it's a... Uh, um... A like Sony. Yeah, that's probably much that's better. Cool. Yeah. You know, I'd want to give these to up. fucking Bobo or one of those guys. You know, just guys have nothing. Okay. Anyone else getting sick of all the cologne that's floating in the air? Yeah. Uh, Got a buzz. It's all mixing. I have a little Kyocera uh, 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 digital camera. Oh, look at what? that! It's uh, it's it's oh, it's not. It's only four megapixels. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody need a camera from 1980? <laughs> oh my god, you got a camera on this. <laughs> I've taken some good photos Even though this. your dumb phone has more than four megapixels. I know, megas. so nobody yeah, wants the one I have. Megapixels. Nice. Who? What? Who are you bringing in? Younger guys are wearing he wants, okay. he wants your speakers, but he's afraid to come in. Tell him to come in! D-boy. D-boy. D-boy hey, earns his keep around here. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Hey, D-boy. Yeah, I know. Isn't it horrible? What smells in here? Do you want yeah, the speakers? Like really uh, I, don't, I don't know if they're any good or not. Hey, there you go. It's like Christmas. Wait, do you need a do you need an iPod Nano band? No. no. <laughs> Jesus. Do you need a uh, a Belkin Tune FM for iPod Nano? It makes your uh, iPad Nano pick up FM radio. Oh wow! No one needs that. No. All right. Do you need some? Kenoki cleansing detox foot pads. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? How did you know. end up with that? Somebody gave them to me. It's like a Christmas stocking stuffer. Yeah. Yeah, but I throw <laughs> all that shit away as soon as they leave the house. Does anybody need? Uh, oh, look, another, a little. Another, tell D boy, get back here. More Sentry speakers. Look. Oh, they're little speakers. These are teeny ones, which are good for travel. Yeah. These are little travel speakers. Or <laughs> headphones. <laughs> yeah, or headphones. <laughs> you know, you just. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Jimmy's got a whole bunch of stuff in a big bag. 
What else you got in Ooh, there, Jimmy? Some Burt's Bees remedy. <laughs> what is that? I buy a lot of Burt's Bees stuff, and I realize I hate it. <laughs> what is Burt's You've Bees? You've never seen Burt's Bees? Uh, it's natural. It's actually not a bad it's product. A, they have a bunch of shit. Yeah, but this is the one. I took the stuff I wanted. So this has got Burt's Bees body lotion, Burt's Bees rescue ointment, and two things of Burt's Bees hand salve. Anybody's hand <laughs> sal. I think you were doing radio. You hit a lot of buttons. Anybody here? And, and the guys in the back, whose fingers might be chafed, need, need some, some hand salve. Hand salve. And then this Aztec. I bought this on the road not long ago. It's a speaker. It's a, it's a single speaker for a laptop, an external. But, oh, um, I just got a better oh, an one. Altec Lansing. An Altec Lansing. Is that good? Oh yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Well, if anybody wants it, I didn't like it. I got another one. Wow, you got a lot of stuff. Over yeah, I'll throw there. it out. I, I'm not attached to it. But I'm like, if you're going to throw shit out, you might as well just see if anybody wants it first. If they don't, yeah, then you toss it. Someone wants cleansing, you know detox, foot pads. I'm looking at yeah. all your stuff. You should open up a kiosk at a mall. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's kiosk or something. Jimmy's kiosk. All you use Because it's all just nicky nacky stuff. Well, it's just, you know, I figured. I mean, the Burt's Bees, I know I'm kind of joking. Nobody's going to want that or foot pads. Well, we're, we're taking your cologne and we're going to try to sell it on uh, the Dude, street. The idea about fucking putting E-Rock in the bathroom is... So, I know. Just I know. A, no one around here has a sense of humor, so... I know. That's, and, and, and they'll that's probably the only go, reason. Do you know what a laugh that would get to people? They'll probably go, well, we got to check with the lawyers because now you're... Yeah, yeah. You're, you're conducting a business yeah, in yeah, their yeah. personal exactly. space and... The, well, how about use you colognes? Got the right let, forms. Let them name the price. Use colognes, ten dollars. I'm telling you, ten dollars or best offer. Don't uh, be hard. If they say I'll give you a buck for the curve, no, no, keep it at ten, and then then All they right. negotiate with you. Then you, you have the power to negotiate. Okay. Let's try to make some real if they, money. If off they this. start, well, they might see the ten and not even want to approach. Yeah, because soon as you say best offer, then they're not. No one is going to give up the ten. That's true. Why would you give up yeah, the 10? Yeah, but if they see the 10 but want it but don't want to spend 10, they might not even come over to say hi no, to them. No, they'll go, I'll give you 5, and then you go, I'll give you 7. I mean, I'll okay. take 7. Ah, I'll give you 6. Let All people right. know you're Let's willing to negotiate. Okay. No, just leave it used right. $10. Okay. Because soon as you say, or best price, no one is going to get If you see someone look, though, just put and turn away and keep walking, yeah, go, go, hey, hey, it's negotiable. All right, yeah, that's, that's, that's you know, a good way to Kind of let them know. Because you want to get a couple dummies that don't know that they can negotiate and, and hand over their $10. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, birds and bees, nobody will want that. Someone might might want some hand salve. I should put, exp we should put really awful prices on these. This curve is $135. <laughs> Because Jim Norton used it. Yes. Who? Exactly. <laughs> Do I want to keep this one? God, I hope the NYPD oh. arrests you. That would be funny. Look, he's trying to decide if he no, wants I don't. to No, because it was a gift. No, no that's not it. We got all these colognes over here. You say, is that, who, said, is that, who said is that it? Of course Steve did. Steve, Steve there's 90 things on this table. Is that I'm, it? I'm, I'm his, I didn't he said that when he saw a vagina. Here, look. <laughs> I'm kidding. Put these... Uh, you think, these are good. Fahrenheit is on you. That's a brand new thing of Fahrenheit. I just don't wear it. And Mark Jacobs, can you not put the bag in my food? All right. No. Thanks, buddy. What about that brown box? All these are going. Cartier, I may keep. This one, you have to hold from the top. Dude, you have to hold this from the bottom. This is an unused Abercrombie and Fitch. I've used it a couple times. When did you buy that one? That might be about less than a year ago. But we, sometimes I buy them on the road if I might, forget them. Might be the latest Abercrombie and Fitch that's mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Uh... What about that oh. gray box in front no, of you? That's the only one I'm going to keep. The oh. cardiacs I actually do kind of... Let me see. Yeah. No, I'll never wear it here. <laughs> I like uh, it, but I won't wear it. It's like... Uh, I, at home, I got fucking... Is this a good exercise for you? I, dude, I'm not... You're cleansing your soul right now? I have like 15... Getting rid of your smells? I have... I, I'm going to say I have 20 colognes at home still. Wow. But I cleaned off, made some shelf space. This is, this is unreasonable, but you can't... I travel with a fucking... Uh, what's wrong with me? Listen to me. I'm, <laughs> I'm panicking. You're panicking because you're seeing your clones you go bye-bye. Panicking. Bye. I travel. I, I, I. No, but I take a lot of time. Oh, you might over... have a little bit of a hoarding thing happening. I collect, but I'm also good at cleaning and getting rid of stuff. Like, I'm not. You still have 20 colognes at home. But they're actually colognes that's like I do but occasionally wear. That means you're probably not going to use at least half of those still. People have to realize, too. I go on stage, so it's like you come off, you don't want to stink. So a lot of times I wear it when yeah. I'm on the road. It's like, you know, and people are like, oh, you smell nice. It's like, it's nice you have to even fucking sweat like a pig for yeah. an hour. Mm -hmm. um, but I take a, I just found a bunch of, like, those little portable colognes, you know, the little samples they give you? Yeah. But they're great because I travel with the, How many of those do you got at home? Probably 12, but those are great because I bring them. Because you can't carry big cologne in your luggage if it's carry-on, because they'll make you throw it out. So, so all these colognes are... 
useless because you can't really take him on. He's been home, though. Yeah. But you said you bought him on the road. I did, but a lot of times if I have big luggage with me, if I'm checking my bag, you can bring any cologne you want. But if it's when you do carry-on, like when I'm doing Leno or whatever I'm doing, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm falling apart. You really are. I'm really, I'm in a weird loopy sleep schedule. <laughs> really? I went to bed at 2.20 last night. Wow. So I cleaned out more of my, when I did the cologne. Yeah. Last night, this was all last night. You went to bed at 2.20. Keith the cop, the ask Keith week, the cop for his photo. Up. He took a photo of my fucking, I have like, Electrical. I have like three things of electrical cords that I'm never going to use. And I'm like, why don't I just throw them out? Yeah, you don't need those. I have a phone cord that's like 12 feet. Like, I, like why am I saving that? Wait, wait, like a spirally phone cord? No, or no, long, like, oh, oh, just one phone that will cord. plug into a modem. Oh, okay. But I'm like, I probably won't use that. Oh, you won't use that. All right. Yeah, you got to get rid of that stuff.